the Australian artist who uh, wears the mantle of greatest living Australian painter is John Olson. Active since the late 1950s and widely known since the early 60s, Olson's work is now cemented in our understanding of great Australian art. He won the Archibald Prize only very recently and at the moment his work is the subject of a major exhibition at the National Gallery of Victoria. Most Australian artists seem to require a few years in Europe, in London or in France, before they can come back to Australia and click with the Australian subject matter. And that's what Olsen did too. He went to Spain, became acquainted with Miro, I think was probably the most important um, influence on him. Came back and saw Sydney and created a vision of Sydney of a lively, bustling metropolis with life in grand and small focus, all in the one painting. And this is Olsen's great talent, his great skill is to bring the focus from the widest possible focus down to the narrowest focus in the one painting at the same time. And if you look at his paintings of Lake Eyre, you see, which is one of his favourite subjects, I think it's probably his most important subject, is Lake Eyre. And you see the landscape with the horizon, you see the sky and you see the water and you see the insects and the animals and the birds and the flowing of the rivers and it's all beautifully rendered in the one composition. He transforms it from a rendering into an artwork. Olsen's most, single most recognised and best subject is the frog. And we have to acknowledge the fact that whenever we have pictures with frogs in them by Olsen, that they're, they always get good bidding and people love them. And the work in our current auction is a very, very fine example. And you see the teeming life of a pond. No different, as far as Olsen's concerned, to the teeming life of Sydney or the seaport of desire or Lake Air, it's a pond, but it, once again, it is the broad focus, broad and narrow. We've been very pleased to handle a number of very important paintings by John Olson in recent years, and the best of them, and the ones that always create the most excitement amongst our collectors, and also amongst us, are his watercolours. They are the work that I think best embody him in the later part of his career, and so we are really delighted that this fabulous aquatic painting, which so much sums up Olsen, um, is going to be available for you to see in our, in our collection.